Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my review and overall thoughts of, on the Drunk Elephant A Passioni Retinol Cream. So I've been using this Retinol Cream since October, September. And I have made so many mistakes, so that's why I'm making this video. To help you not make the same mistakes that I've made. So right off the bat, if you're not aware, this cream retails for $74. And I purchased this at Sephora, but you can also purchase this at DrunkElephant.com. This has 1% 1, 1 of retinol in it. This is like the highest percentage of retinol you can buy over the counter. Anything more than this, you need a prescription for. Now, the first time I started using this, it has very clear instructions in the back that tells you you have to build this up. Um, to li limit your initial use to once or twice a week, gradually increasing frequency to every other night, and then every night as tolerated. Always use a broad spectrum sunscreen. So do keep in mind, if you're thinking of using retinol cream, always use sunscreen because it can really damage your skin because retinol, what it does is it speeds up the uh, turnover cells that produce like new skin and sheds the old skin and so your your skin is more becomes more sensitive to the sun you get sunspots and all that kind of stuff so always wear sunscreen during you know the day if you're using retinol cream at night now i only use retinol cream at night and when the first time I started using this, I, I was actually using the First Aid Beauty Retinol Cream that was um, a lower percentage. I believe it was 0.25% or something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it, I know that for sure it was less percentage than, the, than this cream. Oh, I should have brought water with me. Tengo un aire in my chest. If you're Spanish, you know what I mean. There's like a, like air like stuck on my chest. Anyway, back to this video. So I started to use that every day because I have oily skin. And all of my life, I've had a very strong skin barrier where things that are sensitive to most people are not sensitive for me. Uh, my skin, it was very hard for my skin to dry out of like anything and I would use, you know, very like harsh and strong toners because I needed to be able to break through all that oil to really prep my skin to receive, you know, the skincare without leaving my skin oily. A person with oily skin never wants to feel like their skin is oily. They're trying to find that balance. And I've tried everything, guys. I've tried moisturizing more because supposedly your skin is drier. That doesn't work. At least for me, it didn't work. So I just went back to just using products specifically targeted for people with oily skin. And the reason I started to use retinol cream was because I suffer from something called milia. Milia are these tiny little bumps that create it's like um, sweat and keratin gets like trapped under the first layer of your skin and it creates these tiny little bumps all over your skin that you can't pop they don't go away um, and they're they just create a lot of texture on the skin which is really annoying and if you try to pop them what's underneath is literally like a very hard seed that will come out of that pore and i started to read up on it because i never knew i suffered from this like this would happen to me on and off throughout my 20s but it was never as bad as 
now like i went through a stage last year where i was using a product it was a bare minerals like sunscreen complexion thing i did a video on that really made my skin break out so bad with melia it was it was literally all over my skin and i didn't know what was causing it and so i started to do some research and i came across i'm like oh this is probably what i have and it said that what's really good for people who suffer with melia is using rose water toners or like spraying your skin with rose water or using retinol creams so i started off with the first aid beauty one because it was a lot softer and so i kind of kind of wanted to start preparing my skin for something stronger and when i was finished with the first aid beauty one it was good but I feel like it wasn't doing enough for my skin. I still had a lot of melia. So I purchased the Drunk Elephant uh, Retinol Cream with a 20% coupon that Sephora has sent me. So I didn't, I didn't pay full price for this cream. And when I started to use it, I started to use it every night because I was using my other retinol cream every night and it didn't really do much for my skin. My dog is announcing that the UPS guy is here and he's obsessed with the UPS guy. It's either the UPS guy or the FedEx guy. You know what this is, This why this happens? Because they bring him treats. Because they're so sweet, they bring him treats and he knows at what time they get here. So he waits for them at the front gate. But since it's cold and raining today, I have him inside. So he's now letting me know, mom, let me out because first of all it's rude not to say hi to people and second of all these are my friends third of all they've got treats that belong in my mouth so i'll be right back while i let him out so that he can greet the ups people and i will be back all right so i'm back so basically i was using that other uh first aid beauty retinol cream every night and it was good but I feel like I needed more. Like my milia was still there, really wasn't um, breaking through and giving me, you know, maximum, I say like skin cell turnover. So I bought this one 20% off, off of Sephora. And I started to use this one every day because I was using the other one every night and it really, like I, it was okay, I was fine. <laughs> No, this stuff is super, super strong. And I ended up using it every night. And after, um, right when I hit, I think the 20 day mark, I literally lost, I think like six layers of skin. My skin was so raw and sensitive and dry and anything I put on it burned it literally burned and my skin was so itchy I I just wanted to like scratch it like this like this so I said okay let's start again so I stopped using it completely because I needed my skin to go back to normal that took it took my skin a week and a half to recuperate from that little incident. So then I started to use it every other night. That didn't work either. Way, still way too strong for my skin. And it, like after a month, it, the same thing happened. Like my skin was very raw, very sensitive. So I said, okay, I'm going to start using this once a week. And that's what I did. I started to wear it every Sunday at night. And I would put this, another mistake I made was that I was putting on my toner and I wasn't fully like letting the toner dry. My skin was still wet and I was applying the retinol directly to my skin. So from what I've read up on, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put the retinol on your skin once it's dry because if you do it when your skin is um, a little bit moist or wet, it could actually irritate your skin, which it was. And so I stopped doing that. I started to use it once a week. And 
finally my skin was getting that maximum potential like I was getting this you know I was really shedding all the dead skin I was using a scrub to help like you know scrape off any like what looks like dry patches but really it's just your skin sort of like peeling in different areas all of my milia purged like it went away like when I was using this the way I was supposed to be using it everything just started to come out because as you're losing layers of skin all of the stuff that was trapped under my pores was just coming out everything was shedding it was god sent another thing i noticed before i started using this so in case you guys don't know i'm at the time i was 30 i'm 31 now this year i need to put some cream on my hands because they're dry I'm 31 now and I was kind of noticing my skin was a bit dull and just like meh is the best way I could describe it. My skin was very just very it looked just tired. It, it wasn't glowing. It wasn't you know it didn't have pizzazz and my skin has never been like that. I also noticed that like this area right here, I was noticing like sort of like droopage a little bit, you know? And I didn't know if it was like age or it's that I was very stressed and wasn't sleeping well because that tends to happen to me. But I'm gonna go with age. Think things start to happen as you start getting older. And so I said, well, I wonder if retinol helps with like wrinkles and all that stuff. And it does. It helps with like um, the radiance of your skin because your skin always looks fresh since you're always getting rid of that like all the dead cells and all the dead skin. However, I am going to let you guys know I have been using this for like the way I'm supposed to be using it for about two, three months, three months my skin still gets really itchy and i use it now twice i bumped it up to twice a week the reason i did that was because when i started using this every sunday and i started to see really 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 good results so i would apply this directly onto my skin after i put on my toner then i would apply my moisturizer after i would apply this so toner retinol cream moisturizer and when you some people mix this in with their moisturizer so it's not as strong I don't like doing that. I like to apply it directly onto my skin because my I feel like I get better results that way. And maybe that's why my skin gets so itchy. But when I was using it once a week, the night that I would apply it, the very next day for the next three to four days, no, I would say the first three days after I apply the, the cream, my skin was really, really itchy. To the point that when I would get in the shower to wash my face, I would literally just be scratching my face because it was just so itchy, I couldn't help it. Um, so I was like, man, if this doesn't go away, I, I think I may be allergic to retinol cream. <laughs> I don't know. So eventually when your skin starts to get used to it, that itchiness does isn't as intense so i started to notice that i wasn't getting super itchy after wearing the retinol cream on sunday nights so i said oh my skin is starting to create a tolerance so at that point i bumped it up to two uh nights a week right now i'm only using it two nights a week friday nights and sunday nights again i don't mix it with my moisturizer if you mix this with your moisturizer i've heard from many people um wayne goss is the last what well, person I watched reviewing this product and it just helps dilute this so that it's not as strong for your skin. I do not apply this anywhere near the eye area. So I apply my eye cream first and then I go ahead and put this in without touching any of the areas around the eye because it can really burn the skin in that area because it's so delicate and this is so strong. So that's the way i apply it i really love this stuff my skin still gets very itchy because i recently bumped it up to two days a week so i am itchy for about 
two and a half days, three. That eventually will go away as I start creating a tolerance for it. But basically, you're supposed to put this on every other um, night or every night, depending on how well your skin tolerates the retinol. Another thing I notice is that when I bump up the dosage and my skin is not used to it yet, when I wash my face, my skin gets really, 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 really red, really red. And that goes away once you stop touching your skin. But if I rub my skin, my whole face will get super red, which doesn't happen ever if I'm not wearing the retinol cream. So that was another um, thing that I noticed while I was using this product. My overall thoughts on this product is it's really good, but it's really strong and I use less than a pea size amount. That is basically nothing. If you really think about it, it's nothing. Uh, but that's how strong it is. So I recommend even if you think that you have a really strong barrier as skin and things don't really affect you the way that it affects most people, this stuff is, is the real deal. It's really, 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 really just, it's just strong. I know that thing says just 1% and you're like, ah, just 1%, no. This is like, it's amazing. It's a really good product, but I think that you really have to work your way with it. Like work this slowly into your routine before just, applying this every day your skin I mean guys it was scary I I looked like I looked like my whole entire face was really sunburned and my skin was like really really raw it almost looked like people who have chemical peels you know how the skin looks like very delicate very raw like that very red that's what it looked like. I literally woke up in the morning looking like that and I, I, I shocked myself in the mirror. <laughs> it was shocking. But yeah, other than that though, once I realized, oh, Isabel, don't be a moron, do it right. And I restarted, I did a reset and I started to use this right. It was really good. I really love this product. I don't think I will ever get rid of this product out of my skincare routine unless I get pregnant because pregnant women cannot use retinol creams. This comes in a metal tube. Another thing you should be aware of, so I flipped the top cap right here. As you can see, I've been folding it. I only squeeze this very lightly because this is, this, because since, I can't speak because this is a metal tube if you squeeze too much it won't stop oozing out and so I squeeze it very gently because I use less than a pea size amount and I apply that onto my face once um, I bumped it up to two nights a week I use just a little bit more but it's way less than a pea size amount and that's just because my skin can tolerate it because before my skin couldn't tolerate it, it was way too strong uh, just, just put any more than what I was adding directly onto my skin and pretty much that's I mean I hope this video is helpful but I really really like this and it, it got rid of all of my milia all of it I don't have any more milia I don't have any more texture on my skin my skin will break out you know when it's that time of the month like I'll get you know little bumps here and there but it's nothing like it's not like huge zits or anything. It's just, you know, PMS. You know what I'm talking about. Women who go through it. And those, and those women who don't deal with these issues, then lucky you, lucky you, but that's not me. This has helped me so much, even when it's that time of the month, I get way less blemishes than I did before I started using this cream. And what I mean by that is that when I get a pimple, it's not a surface pimple. It's like a cystic type. It's under the skin, doesn't have a head, and it kind of, you know, hurts, you know? I 
usually don't touch it unless I know it's ready and I know when it's ready. But with this, I don't get those anymore. The kind of zits I get are just kind of where they look like they're going to form, but then they never form and then they go away magically. Like the next morning I, I wake up and they're not there anymore. I'm gonna give credit to this cream. This is amazing. This is amazing stuff. I know that it's super expensive, it's $74. But I've been using this technically since September of 2019 and I'm not even halfway through this bottle. This is not, this is not halfway. Like I still have a ton of product up here in this area, but I'm not even halfway through this bottle. This stuff is gonna last me, I'm pretty much sure, until September of this year because that's how little I've been using of this product unless my skin is able to tolerate wearing this every single day but honestly I don't think that I would wear this retinol cream every day I think that may be too much for my skin I think the most I'd wear this would be three times a week I don't think I'd bump this up to more than three times a week I think three times a week is a healthy amount for my skin I know people that wear this every day I just don't think my skin would be able to handle it Anyways, if you use this cream, please leave me a comment down below. I want to know your experience with it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you using something else um, other than this? Um, I, I know some people wear Retin-A creams, Retinol-A creams, but those are much stronger. And I think you need a prescription for those. So this is really good. $74 in the grand scheme of things. It's not really that expensive for me because... I have so much left over. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and see you next time. Bye.